Good morning. Again, this is our second clip. This is the timing between arms and legs. I've gone over the, the pivot and the arm swing roughly. And uh, these are a bunch of exercises to do that. And they're wonderful exercises. And they're things that you can do to train yourself to hit a golf ball like you would never believe. And so uh, the first thing I'm going to talk about is the grass whip. Melhorn believed this was the, the finest exercise there is. And so you just play golf. And I had to make this because True Temper quit making the golfer's ex grass whip. So I had to make this thing. I didn't want to do it, but I had to. So in cutting grass, we cut the same grass both directions. So we have the same speed both directions. Don't make the mistake of using your golf swing. Go back, slow, fast down. That won't work. The grass whip action is just cutting grass. Okay, so that's a simple thing. Anybody can do that. And all the things that I talk about in the pivot and the arm swing happen perfectly. You take a grass whip, make a golf swing, it's perfect. Balance is perfect. And you have the circle automatically. The arms are going up and down automatically. If I take a pivot, there's where the arms go to cut this grass. Now I go through, there's where the arms go to cut this grass. It comes straight up. That's what the arms do. They go up, down, and up. And um, so that's a grass whip. Let me get a golf club here. And I'll talk to you about Leo Deagle's exercise. Melhorn thought this was marvelous. Um, and Leo said it was the best. So maybe those guys argued about it. <laughs> Melhorn with a grass whip and Leo with this one. This is a simple exercise, and you can make your golf swing just like this and hit the golf ball. And um, here's the exercise. You make sure that this club doesn't move, and you just clap your hands. Boom, boom, and this comes straight up. Boom, boom, boom. You see, if we dump, bounce a tennis ball on the ground and we knock it up against a wall, there's how we did it. There's the forehand, there's the backhand. Well. Bing, bing, this is the backhand right here. And you're spinning. And it's wonderful for the pivot because it gets you all away from, this stays still. And you go boom, boom, boom. And you can vary that a little bit by taking the club up where you take your hand and then come back down. And you can also do this one. So boom, boom, and there's your golf swing. And um, Leo was a phenomenal player. He would turn the ball, instead of playing straight to the hole, he'd have giant galleries because he'd make the ball move all the time. Hit circus shots, playing, playing tournaments, and he won a bunch of them. Um, I'm gonna show you a, um, a, an exercise called Jug McSpaden. This is one of Melhorn's favorite. Jug McSpaden played in the 30s, and he couldn't make a quarter. He couldn't make a quarter. And Melhorn, all of a sudden, he sees Jug McSpaden won seven tournaments in a row on the Winter Tour. So he had to go see what he did. And here's, he went to Palma C up in, in Tampa, and Jug McSpaden is hitting the golf ball this way. And Bill said, well, he got rid of all the bad stuff. He put the club in a perfect position and hit the golf ball. And he made seven, won seven tournaments in a row. And then he modified it. He simply went up like that and pivoted at the same time. And there's his golf swing. And he won the US Open, 1939. And um, in doing that, um, up here, we had a little chuck. You get up. You put the club 10 inches behind the ball. That's the radius and ulna doing this one. And then it comes straight up here. And then you simply add a pivot to that. Now it falls, boom, and comes right back to impact. And now I break this down for you. Now it comes straight up. The shaft and the face never leave the target. It's what the arms do. 
It's like the forehand and the backhand. Face never leaves the target. And so there's where we go. And um, that's the Jug McSpaden. And this one is easy. Skip a rock. A little flat rock. Um, most everybody's done this, or you can imagine yourself doing this. You just take an, a flat rock and skip it across the water. Ch -ch 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 -ch. And um, just copy that pivot. You've done all that. You know how to do that. And just copy it when you hit a golf ball. And um, that's an easy one. And, and uh, I might say this. When you toss a pebble, and I toss it 10 yards, I will do this one. When I toss it 20 yards, I'll do that one. When I toss it 50 yards, I'll do that one. So this doesn't move much different. This one, it's the one that speeds up. And that's true in golf. We're independent. Our arms work independent all our life from our legs. There's no such thing as driving the legs and pulling because the legs don't pull. And the body doesn't pull the arms. So. What we do is we revolve this portion of our anatomy and the arms time with that. And so that's the way we want to do. Now, the, the next one is throwing clubs. This is, um, this is very good. I got a bunch of these things. You want to paint them white because you can't find them when you throw them. The grass is, has any... Um... And so when we play golf, we're throwing the club, but we just don't let go. So this exercise teaches us to throw the club. And so you just throw the club. And you let it go. Now I'm going to do it easy. Because, and you have to do it easy. And you have to make sure you got plenty of room. Because when you throw it, it's going to go right there. And you're going to knock out somebody's window. Might be your own. So. I'm going to do it easy, and this is what you do. You just throw the club with, with your golf swing, whatever golf swing you got. Just throw the club, throw it easy, and finish with the back of the right hand against the left ear, like that. That's this. That's all. That's how it works. That's how our, our arms work. This is the backhand. This is the forehand. We throw the club. It's going to work exactly the same way. OK, I'm going to talk about beating a rug. Um, here we go. This is um, something that we can all do. Your, mo your grandmother did this all the time. She hung a rug on a line and stood there and knocked the dust off. Boom! Left-handed, boom. Got tired of left-handed. Do it right-handed, boom. So we do this one. Boom! Boom! Boom. That's a natural timing. And you can do that same sort of thing when you have a rubber tire. Say this was a tire on a golf cart. The golf cart's over here, you go in the front, and you just take the business end of your golf club and you tap the tire. You don't have to, if you, if you hit it hard, it's going to fly. Your arms are going to fly back up. But you go, boom. Boom. And so while you're playing, you can imagine that you've got the rug here, or you've got the tire by the golf ball. And that's all subconscious. You don't have to do anything. You know what to do. I mean, you don't have to think of anything when you, when you beat that tire. So that's the way we're going to work. And um, those exercises uh, are simple. And you teach yourself, you teach yourself to hit them. And good luck with that.